Yo dogs, what's happening? TJ from the shop Vancouver. Today, we're gonna talk about two type twos. The Y2 IB141. And the Gold Digger from Double Helix. Two very similar jackets, yet two very different jackets. So let's walk through them. I'll show you the similarities, I'll show you the differences, and you can decide which one you like better. Let's talk a little bit about the similarities. They are both type twos. Two pocket, traditional 1950s style from Levi's. They both feature one, two, three, four, five. Ah, 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 ah. That's my uh, Count Dracula, Count Chocula. Five button down front, bleated plows, ple and bleated, ple and pleated blouse front. This is a type one, but you get the idea. They both feature an indigo dyed horse hide, which is about 1.3 to 1.5 millimeters thick. Both jackets also feature double button rear side cinches, straight flat yokes, um, and just a classic vintage type two styling. Cut wise, they're both almost identical. They both measure the same across the shoulders, or same across the pit to pit, and the same in length. So they're almost the exact same jacket. But what are the biggest differences between the Y2 and the Double Helix? Obviously the color. Y2, they've pretty much mastered fusing indigo into horse hide. Where Double Helix has developed this light aniline dyed indigo that is going to fade off more like a traditional denim jacket. That's not to say that the Y2 won't fade. A customer of ours has one of our IS-13 Pablo Western shirts. He's down in Texas and he's been wearing the shit out of it. And it looks so good. You can start to see some of the indigo starting to wear through. The Y2 indigo has more of a gray core where the Double Helix has a full blown white core. What Double Helix is doing is they're veg tanning the leather and then they're washing it repeatedly until they wash out the brown and get this white core. Then they're aniline dyeing it the light indigo and then washing that out again and again and again until they get this bright white core and this gorgeous bright blue or light blue indigo color. Y2 isn't doing the same process. They're using more of a traditional process to do their dyeing, which leaves the core of the leather a little bit more gray. You can see it more on the side cinch here of the color of the leather. But over time, you're really gonna see that white core start to pop through this aniline dyed indigo. I think the Double Helix really wants to show that they have that white core, so they expose it as much as they can, where the core of the leather isn't as much of a feature for the Y2 piece. So let's talk a little bit more about differences. You can see that the pocket shapes are a little bit different. These guys went with more of a hexagon kind of poly, poly morpho glick, I don't know, versus a swooping sort of Western style pocket. Y2 obviously does the contrast stitch. They do a tonal stitch on the double helix. They've got the donut hole buttons on the Y2. Double helix actually has their own double helix Tokyo buttons on the front of theirs. Again, cut wise, they're basically the same jacket, same length at 25.5 on the size 42. I wear a size 40 in both of these jackets. On the front, that's basically the same. Switching to the back, both of them have a flat yoke on the back. The biggest difference here is you're gonna see that the Y2 is more of a traditional type two with the single piece panel back, where the double helix has almost like a type three style with that V to give it a little bit more shape. So double helix on their type two isn't as traditional, I'd say, as maybe the Y2, but very similar. They're just taking a little more liberty to give it a little bit more shape and style on the back panel. Both very similar jackets. Um, I actually have, I mean, you can see I'm wearing the type one, the IB140 in the Y2. This is the very first piece that I got from Y2. I've had it for years and I love this jacket. I do have a jacket like this coming for myself. So I'm really excited to see how this is gonna wear. So this is the Y2 IB141 and the Double Helix Gold Digger. Two type twos from two Japanese companies. Two very similar jackets, yet two very different jackets. I'm really excited to see how this one's gonna age. 
can't wait to get mine and start to really, really mess it up. Where I already know how this one ages because I'm wearing it right now. In certain lights, it almost looks black, but it is a showstopper. I love it. You guys got any questions at all? Hit me up, 604-229-2134. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. Uh, you can message me on Instagram. You can message me on TikTok, uh, at the shop Vancouver. Um, yeah, if you got any questions at all, these are both available on theshopvancouver.com. And they're pretty fucking cool. So hit me up and we will talk very soon. Love you, love you, love you. Indigo jackets! <laughs>